Please make room in front for the sannyasis. Everyone should move. Uh, sannyasis and kirtaniyas in front. And brothers. Hare Krishna. I would like to ask all the devotees to please be quiet for a moment and listen to this announcement. This is a relatively small hall for 750 people. So kindly be considerate and move further back to the hall. If you all place yourself nicely and evenly in the back, you will also be able to see and hear Srila Gurudev. So please cooperate and go further back and go to the side, but do not push forward to the stage. Nanda, where's Gurudev's mic? Nanda Sutta. Where's Nanda Sutta for who? Where's the microphone? Hari Bhagavan, Hari Krishna. So, Srila Gurudev's transcendental Sharanamritam will be relished by all the devotees here. We will distribute it evenly to all the devotees here at Prashadam time. So, we will also be here. Hare Krishna. All the devotees in the front. From tomorrow on, on this evening, allow senior devotees to sit in the front. All the younger devotees should make some place in the evening, especially. Yeah. Okay, everybody get up and move back for that. Senior devotees in front, including the ladies. Everybody in front, please, please. The ladies. You know, you know that the Varshi Narad you to travel whole world or Guru Parampara all. Tell you to travel here and there. We see Shishila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. Oh, in world everywhere you went. Without calling, without invitation. And myself also traveling in whole world without invitation. Invitation, I am going here, there. Why? Harinamamit Prabhu, Harinamananda Prabhu, so they speak something. Hare Krishna. May I, may I say a few words of greeting, uh, first of all, to our beloved Srila Gurudev that he has come. We would like to 
Yeah. With all our heart, welcome Sri Lagur Dave here today. Thank you. Yeah. And, and also the Sanyasi Gyan who are here. Sri Pad Madhva Maharaj, Sri Pad Bon Maharaj, my godbrother Sanyasis, Rasananda Prabhu, Sri Mati Shamarani Didi. All my god brothers and god sisters and all other Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, we'd like to welcome you and simultaneously I would like to offer my humble Dandavat Pranam to all I have just mentioned. Srila Gurudev's mission, why he has come here, is because this material world is not the home of the Jiva. The Jiva does not belong here, it is not its body, it is eternal spirit soul. It is living eternally in a conditioned, unnatural state here in this material world without beginning and without end until it encounters the mercy, the powerful mercy of a pure devotee of the Lord. To have such an opportunity is extremely rare. The well-known example is that we have heard from Srila Prabhupada, our Swamiji, that uh, when a turtle is swimming in the vast ocean and it comes to surface, if at that time when it reaches the surface there is a board with a hole in it where its head just happens to fit through and so it happens that when it surfaces to the air its head happens to go through the hole in the board. This is extremely rare and all of us, so many of us, are having this experience right now repeatedly by the mercy of our Srila Gurudev. Even though the mercy of Gurudev is inconceivable because in our conditioned state we don't know what good fortune has hit us, but Gurudev simultaneously being the genius teacher that he is, explains everything to us. That we can understand our good fortune, that we can understand the goal of our life, and that we can understand the process by which we can achieve it. Sadhu Sangha. Gurudev is that sadhu whose association we require and the Vaishnavas that accompany him and serve him humbly and tirelessly throughout the whole world spreading his mission. They can also enrich us with the, ne with the nectar that is coming from Srila Gurudev's lotus mouth. So all I can say as for myself also, I hope to muster all the proper attention and sincerity and seriousness of mind to take advantage of this opportunity that Gurudev is giving us. Shri Lagurde Ki Jai. Sar Bhavna Prabhu. He has gone. Kitchen. Or Jai Prabhu. Prabhu speaks. Om Mat Gantri Ram Dasya Ganam it is said that when the sojourn of a conditioned soul in the material world comes to its end, then at that time he is getting the chance to associate with the Vaishnavas. So we can all rejoice that we have come to that particular uh, moment in history, in each of our particular history, that we have come into association with Vaishnavas. Not only Vaishnavas, but Shuddha Vaishnava, a pure Vaishnava like Shiva Guru. So, like uh, many before myself yesterday were saying, or Ramana Prabhu was saying, let us try to master all our attention and all our sincerity and with rapt attention just lend our ears to the nectar flowing from Gurudev's mouth because this is what can soothe our heart and purify it and make us fit for the goal that human life is uh, being uh, attributed to, which means rendering loving service at the Lord's feet of Radha and Krishna. Shira Gurudev again. Okay, Maharaj. <coughs> to respect for something. Your home zone. Oh, my God, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Tasmai Sri Gurave So, while Gurudev 
has been traveling all over the world for like 27 times around. And I have seen with my own eyes hundreds and hundreds of miracles of devotees coming to his lotus feet and taking shelters. Your Dev is so merciful that his heart can accommodate the whole world. But unfortunately, the whole world is not coming. But we can see that in the, in the world actual, all those who have Sukriti, Adhika, have come. So there is no lack. All of those devotees who are able to be rewarded by the mercy of Srila Gurudev has come here today. So we should know why we came and should take full advantage of his presence, of his association. If you want to have mercy of Gurudev, just lend your ear. The flow of nectar is flowing from his lotus mouth just right from the, from the Vyasa sun. It's like a flow of river, great river full of Jews. And we should not stay in the board, in the banks of the river. We should go in the river and not on the surface. We should go very deep and take advantage of all these Jews and become wealthy and, we'll, and put everything in our heart as when we leave that place we will be much more wealthy and we can distribute these jewels to everyone around us. Jai Shri Gurudev. Jiu Pawan Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Of my respectful listeners, Krishna Gurudev, Shri Prabhupada, all these simple Vaishnavas, these Vaishnavis, a bit caught off guard, but in order to speak, so. In one sense, it, it seems as if the pure devotee is traveling, and he is taking nothing, and he is giving everything and taking nothing, but don't believe it, actually. <laughs> Shiva Gurudev and these others, they're all transcendental thieves. And if you haven't experienced it already, they steal our hearts and they steal our minds. No, I gave them. <laughs> Actually, Maharaj is saying, he stole my son, but the pure devotee sees that everything belongs to Krishna. Actually, we are the thieves. We're taking Krishna's property and we're using it for our sense gratification in this material world. And the spiritual master simply comes to return to the rightful owner everything that belongs to them, Radha and Krishna. So, Srila Gurudev is a transcendental thief, but actually he is working on behalf of the original thief to whom everything actually belongs. So we should not resist and just give in, give. But if you're at all attached to your material life, if you want to continue enjoying to this material world, then don't stay. You should leave now. <laughs> because with just a moment's association, you'll find that you'll never be happy again in the material world. <laughs> and you'll have to surrender. And I ask that Shri Guru, please accept my surrender and beat me with this thunder. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Sarvahana Prabhu, please come, Gurudev, asking for you. Sarvahana Prabhu, maybe you are in the kitchen, please come here, Gurudev is calling you. Who is sitting behind, they can go and call Sarvahana Prabhu, please. Om Ajnana Timiranda Sri Jnana Jnana Sarakya Chachana Mutam Yenya Tasnay Sri Guru Venam. No, Mishnu Padai, Radikai, Priyanthi, Sisima, Pati, Vilanta, Narayan Goswami, Namine. Namaste, Guru Devai, Saro Siddhi Pradai, Saro Mangal Rupai, Saro Anandinai. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Paramitananda. 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 Jai Sri Krishna Chait
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. First of all, my Dandut Pranam to my Pujya Aradhya Sri Guru Maharaj and to all Tridandi Sanyasis and all devotees, Vaishnava Vaishnavis, my humble Dandut Pranam to all Protestants. Guru Maharaj has asked me to speak something. So, in the context why Guru Maharaj is traveling around the world, many sannyasis have spoke about it. We should realize why sadhus are traveling through the world. That is the most important question should come to us. Why sadhu is traveling? Why cannot stay in India and do the bhajan there? But according to the Shastra and other Vaishnavas explaining, that we in this material world, we are not happy. We are looking for happiness in our family, in our society, in our children, brother, everybody. But we realize we cannot find that peace and happiness. And the true friend of our is this sadhu. So this sadhu is traveling through the world because what is sadhu? Sadhu is my Krishna, is his Swaroop. So he is coming to as a guru and a teacher to teaching us how we can find this peace and happiness to surrender to the Lord of Siddhartha and Krishna according to the teaching of Mahaprabhu. And that is the way they are presenting us, the jivas, wake up, jiv jago, jiv jago, and come out from there and come to the lotus feet of Sadhu, and from the Sadhu we can go to Radha and Krishna. So, Guru Maharaj is traveling all around the world wide to waking us so that we can realize that we are not here for permanent. We are just for few reaction of our past time. We are in this body and we are staying in a country named Dutch, German, English, Hindu, Muslim. And pure sadhu is trying us to realize that we are not this identity what we are giving ourselves, but we are Jiva Swarup Hai Krishna Nitya Das. So, and how we can do that? And that he will teach us what we are learning for many, many years, but we cannot realize. So sadhu is traveling more and more to coming and giving that inspire to us so that we can become in one day so attached to sadhu and guru and Vaishnava and to Radha and Krishna, how we can serve them. So, Guru Maharaj is traveling around the world, why? Is to waking us. So we should take this opportunity, because all the nice devotees in Germany have organized, organized is very well. So we're very grateful for them. They have done this great job, and we thank him from deep our heart that all sannyasi can come here and speak about the love of Radha and Krishna. I Gurve Gaur Chandraya Radhikaya Tadade Krishna Krishna Bhakta Tad Bhakta Moima. I offer my respectful obeisance to Sri Gurudev, my Diksha Gurudev, also to my Siksha Gurudev, all the assembled Vaishnavas, Sanyasis, and assembled guests. So basically, we are speaking about the glories of Sadhu Sangha. Um, we can see in the scriptures, especially in Sri Chaitanya Chaitamrita, it is explained, Krishna Bhakti Janma Mool Hoi Sadhu Sangha Krishna Prem Tempun Mukya Sangha. The birthplace of Krishna Bhakti is Sadhu Sangha. We see that by having just a little, just, just by having a little bit of association, uh, the fruits of Sadhu Sangha will come, which are what? 
ज्ञान है पैरा क्या पास देव भक्ति भक्ति योग प्रयोजन जन या तो आशु भाई या दियम ज्ञान हम चेहत आवित क्या हूँ a beautiful example is given in the scriptures just like Ajamil he was very much attached to a prostitute and what is when it was time for him to leave his body the messengers of Lord Vishnu the Vishnu Dus they came to save him from the Jamdus who were taking away to carry him to hell in that brief moment he heard the Harikatha from the Vishnu Dus he heard beautiful Harikatha of the glories of Lord Vishnu actually this Harikatha was being spoken by messengers of Lord Vishnu and by hearing that he realized that how much he had wasted his time in this material world he could leave that prostitute, go to Hardwar and do Sadhan Bhajan. So similarly, by the association of pure Vaishnavas, some strong Bhakti uh, Vairagya will develop so that we ultimately can leave this material world and really in enter into spiritual life. And also Bhakti Tattva will be also there, similarly. I leave it at here. Panchakalpata Rubisha, keep us in the chat. Hare Krishna, it's such a wonderful occasion uh, that Hila Gurudev is here once again to inspire that little bit of bhakti that needs for us to remain fixed in our sadhana and in always keeping the goal, the Santhya, in vision. Because as we heard from so many different devotees, that without Sadhu Sangha, it is not possible to even make the slightest advancement in spiritual life. Sadhu Shangu, Sadhu Shangu, Sarva Shastri Kai, Lava Mantra, Sadhu Shangu, Sarva Shiddhi Kai. This word Lava <coughs> means to take, to experience, to gain. But Lava also is a measure of time, which is less than any time calculations that we know of. So if one sincerely takes, even for a split of a moment, proper association, that is with faith, then all the purport of the scriptures will be revealed to that person. Because without understanding the purport of the scriptures and serving the devotee with that understanding and serving Krishna with that understanding, it is really not possible to be engaged in the transcendental service of the Supreme Lord. All our efforts will remain on the pious platform. If we want to convert our, our activities in the ashram of spiritual life, into the transcendental activity, then it has to be done with the understanding of who the Supreme Lord is, who are his Priya Bhaktas, and what are his different energies. The Sammanda Gyan is the first step that will take us to the transcendental land. So, Shri Gurudev is, as we know, 
now he's looking very, very fresh and fit. I told him that. And that is so inspiring. We all want him to come here every year. And uh, this will also keep a poor soul like me also engaged. <laughs> and of course, a big hand to Harin Namananda Prabhu. And, and not yet, please, because I can't mention Harin Namananda Prabhu's name without mentioning his wife, Shila Shilpa, Shilpa Karini Mataji, and their daughter, Saraswati. So, thank you so much, Shila Gurudev, for taking this trouble, shall I say, because at this age we all understand how difficult for the body it is. And that you come here every year, and I hope that you continue to come here. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Jnanatimirandhasya Jnananjana Salakaya Chakshorun Vilitangena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Bancha Kalpatarubhyasya Kripa Sindhubhya Yevacha Patitanam Pavanibhya Vaishnavibhya Namo Namo Mahabhadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratvise Nama Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhikaya Itadalaya Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tadabhaktaya Namo Nama Tabai vasmi, tabai vasmi, najivami toyabina, iti bigaradhe, tangna maam charananta. First of all, my millions of dandot pranam in the lotus feet of my Parmaradhatam. Guru Pat Padma, Nitta Lila, Pravishtam, Vishnu Pat, Shishmat Bhakti Pragyan, Kesho Goswami Maharaj. And same in the Lord's feet of my Shiksha Guru, Nitta Lila, Pravishtam, Vishnu Pat, Shishmat Bhakti Vedan, Swami Maharaj. Though, Our Guru Dev gave sannyas to Abhacharanar Binda Prabhu, that is Shishimad Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. And by the mercy of his Siksha Guru, Sannyas Guru, and his Guru Dev, Siddha Prabhupada, Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj came in whole world and in couple of years wonder if wonderful he established so many preaching centers everywhere in the world even in the top of mountain in the midst of ocean forest there was no country left where he did not preach. And he established so many temples and also he wrote so many books, translated authority books like Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita and so many. And he gave it to whole world. 
That is why we see so many devotees everywhere. So, only by his mercy, I served him some, something and he pleased to me and by his mercy I am everywhere going traveling and all are listening very carefully to me. So I came first time to visit the holy places where he went and I saw everywhere his glory. Everywhere. <clears throat> so at the last time he has told me, requested me, that I have collected so many devotees from whole world, but I could not train them well. So please help them. I told, yes, I accept your order. I will try my best. And he also at that time told me that give my samadhi with your hand. There were Tamal Krishna, Brahmananda and so many other disciples. And also the disciples of Srila Prabhupada, Pujapad, Ban Maharaj and others. But especially he told to me and I did. And to carry out his order, I am coming everywhere. He has traveled whole world twenty times and myself twenty-four hours, twenty-six times and maybe more. You know <coughs> that we are all eternal servant, maid servant of Krishna. But unfortunately, we have forgotten him. And Maya has covered our knowledge. And our transcendental sorrow. So, we are here in this world. We are refugees from transcendental world Golok Vrindavan. And in this world you are thinking, oh, we are very happy. Like a mad person or any person who is taking so much whiskey <laughs> and thinks, oh, I am not a fool. <laughs> but really he is mad. He has no sense to think all these things in the right way. Oh, we same thing. You should know that we are not this body, but we are thinking that this body is mine. But really not. We are separate, quite separate from this. Hmm? What this body is? Body is a bag of urine, blood, stool, so many things. And Krishna has covered it a very, very fine, beautiful covering. His skin, beautiful eyes, beautiful nose, everything. But inside, full of urine, blood, stool, so many things. If whole scientists and doctors will try but they cannot check old age. They have met, made aeroplane. Oh, very moving, very fast. They have done marvelous scientists, so many wonderful inventions. We can see from here. Oh, where world's game is going on here, there. What President of America is telling, we will see at once. But they could not invent what is Atma, what is Soul and what is Paramatma. They are going to Chandralok, Moonlok, 
but not here. Who am I? They cannot. They cannot stop. Oh, old day. They can demolish whole world by atom bomb, nitrogen bomb. They can do. But they cannot give life. What is life? So, we are, our soul is transcendental. Like Vibhinna Ansa of Supreme Lord. Part and parcel of God. Part and parcel of Supreme Lord. And we have forgotten Him and we are here. But this is not our property here. One day, forcibly we will have to give up this place. Surely. And you cannot take a farthing from here anything. You cannot take your son, daughter, husband, wife, anyone from here. Realize it. It is true fact. Hmm? Your money, what you are collecting, will not go any further. But if you will churn, Supreme Lord, you should realize that who am I? And who is Supreme Lord? And what is the relation between them? Then you can be happy, otherwise not. Money cannot give you happiness. Your father, mother, children cannot give you happiness. Nothing. So, the sadhu travel everywhere. When Gargachaj went to Nanda Gokul in the house of Nanda Baba, at that time Krishna was taken birth, but no Namkaran Sanskar, not na name has been given. At that time Nanda Baba told, Oh, you are very kind. You have no business to come here. For yourself. But only we person very poor and have no knowledge, always always sinking in the Grihast Ashram. Grihast Ashram? Household life. Household. Attached so much. And knowing that I am this body. And Related to bodies, everything is mind. Always unhappy, suffering. We cannot go to sadhus, but you sadhu, the bhakts of Krishna, go mercifully to their house to tell all these facts that you are not bhagi. You are eternal servant of Krishna, may servant of eternal <coughs> Krishna. So don't waste your time. Labdhva sudrala bhamidam bhavusham Oh, this human form, in this only we can realize these things. Hmm? Any animal cannot realize. Any demigods, they cannot. Only we, human, in this world, we can realize this fact. We can do sadhu sangha and we can hear from them. So sadhu, really, Vaishnav, have no their own business. Swamiji did not come for money. Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saswati Goswami never told any his disciple to go western countries and make money. Never. I also, I have not come for money. Money may pursue me, behind me, running, running. But I am not running behind me. Any sadhu does not. And if anything comes, oh, at once, without delay, in a second, 
Oh, make temple, make here, print books and devote, distribute all these things. Never one pays a farthing for So, the Sangha of Sadhu, Sadhu Sangha, very rare in this world. Some persons not qualified, himself attached with money and omen, preaching, but what they can preach. I'm very happy that here more than 700, about 800 devotees are here to hear all this. Are in, and you will certainly be inspired. Certainly. We will think what I am telling. You must do that. So, we must try to hear all this very attentively. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, as Prabhu has told. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha. Sarva Shastra Kaya. Law Matra Sadhu Sangha is Sarva Siddhi hai. Krishna told to Uddhav, my dear Uddhav, you know that so many monkeys, so many deers, so many daitadana, demons, so many birds, all were liberated by the Sangha of Sadhus. You know, Prahlad, he was like the son of demon. Oh, by the mercy of Narada, very soon he was replaced, liberated, and became happy. You know, Narada, in his boyhood, when he was a five, five years age, four Kumars, Sanak Sanandan, Sanatan, Sanat Kumar, with so many rishis, came to his village and began to do Chaturmasya. And daily, Harikatha like here, in morning, in evening, in midday, all time Harikatha, Harikatha. So there that was. And that boy, with great attention and strong faith he used to hear all their harikatha. And one day he took remnant of them from their lips. Liplet. And he was attached to them. They became happy. And at the time of going they gave him mantra. And then after that he went to forest and he became liberated, you know. You know, that Vritrasu also, how he became? By only the association of Angira Rishi and Narad. In first birth he was Chitraketu Maharaj, very attached to worldly affairs. But by their instructions, oh, he became liberated. And in Vitrasur he told, O oh Prabhu, if you are happy to me, please give me this bone. Uttam sloka janesu sakhyam sansar chakre brahmate nija karma bhi tan maya atma atma dar gehesu na nath asakta bhuya. O Prabhu, if you are happy to please to me, give this bone. That anywhere I be should go in any pieces of life. By your mercy, I should have oh, sadhu sangha. I don't want the persons who are always immersed in householder works, attached to their body and all these things. Please give me. You know, that um, <coughs> Balmiki, by the association of 
नारद ऋषि ध्रुव प्रहलाद सो मेनी बाय नारद ऋषि दे वेर लिबरेटेड दे वेंट टू गोलोक वृंदावन इवन डियासा वृंदावन पुलिंदी पुलिंदी यू नो एबोरिजिनल गर्ल ऑफ गोवर्धन वल्ली बाय दी एसोसिएशन ऑफ गोपीज दे वेर लिबरेटेड the birds mayur mayur means peacock peacocks of vrindavan hmm? oh valli by the association of gopis they liberated some gopis hmm, who were from uh, rishichari and others they were not still pure to go in the ras of krishna by the association of nitya siddha gopi they were liberated we also see chaitanya mahaprabhu and nityananda prabhu at that time jagai and madai drunkards and by the association by only drishti reason of nityananda prabhu haridas oh they were liberated at that We see a prostitute, very beautiful. She wanted to disturb Haridas Thakur, but only in three nights sharing Hare Krishna, and she became sadhu. And then all sadhu mahanta used to come to her to see, oh, how this Mahatma, uh, this lady. Also, you know. By the song of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, where he in India, everywhere get, gone, all became Vishnu. Also in Brihad Bhagwat Amit we see that Gop Kumar, in the last, his Guru Sharu, he told all these things. He heard everything. the sweet past tense of krishna but not realizing and then saro what did oh mangalam bhavatu at once in a second he saw oh he is flying very very swiftly and he went to golok bindavan and he made krishna like a sakha by the mercy of guru and vaishnav so any how you are in nishwesar son oh so many sadhu vaishnav are here they will speak something you should hear all these things and be happy and practice like in manasikha chila rabnath das goswami has written oh upadeshamrita gurau goste gurau goste gosthal isu स्वमंत्रे श्री नाम ब्रज दुवंद डू पॉजिटिवली डेली व्हाट गुरु हैज गिवेन यू मंत्र गुरु मंत्र व्हाट इज गिवेन हरि नाम डेली दे कैन सेव यू एंड दे कैन टेक यू टू ट्रांसडेंटल वर्ल्ड इन द सर्विस ऑफ कृष्ण एंड राम का डेली एंड फॉलो उपदेश अमृतम and thus be happy i think you have managed that so many sanyasi are here so many speakers are here you should engage them time to time they should come and speak hari katha and all should hear i think that more than 700 about 800 devotees are here it may be something any problem it may be but nothing it is you have come to hear hari katha you should hear if something <coughs> lacking in prasadam or lodging or anything you should neglect them they are trying for to manage everything very well i saw Oh, I became very happy and wondered. Oh, how beautiful management they are doing! 
how beautiful this cook ki kitchen room and everything and very expert cookers cooks are there and everything you will have prasadam and come here and hear her katha go praman <laughs> Hare Krishna, all the devotees who have come, I know that all of you uh, want to have Gurudev Darshan, so that's why Gurudev came today, to give you Darshan, private Darshan, personal Darshan, but still I know that many of you have some inquiry, I want to exchange something personal with you Gurudev, so tomorrow morning at 10.30 at the house, 10 o'clock sorry, House of Shiva Gurudev stays, there will be darshan for all the English devotees and the German devotees combined. So you will think, how is that possible? Uh, we hope that the weather is good so that we can make outside on the grass, we can make some arrangement and that you can all come and meet with Gurudev. But if any one of you have questions or unanswered letters, Please consult with me and Shri Gurudev will then reply personally to all of you. Hare Krishna. Tomorrow we will announce the next day. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Oh,